Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today, as you'll have seen by the title, I'm going to be playing with the Be Perfect Carnival XL Pro. Um, I've had this for ages. Let's just take that out for a moment. I have, am I holding that in frame? I've had this for ages and I I don't know why I haven't got round to it yet. I've used the Love Tahiti and the Antidote loads of times. Um, so yeah, to, Jace is on the move. Um, so yeah, today we're going to be playing with this one. I've primed my eyes with the Be Perfect Perfect Prime Eyeshadow Priming Base. Hell of a mouthful, but I figured I'm using a Be Perfect palette. I'll use the Be Perfect Primer. So let's have a look. So I think I'm going to try and use a good few colours, um, but I'm going to first go with the lights out, the black. So I have heard so many people raving about this palette. Um, I already had... I already had the uh, Love Tahiti. I'm not sure if I had the Antidote as well at the time. Um, but when I saw this on sale, I kind of, I grabbed it thinking, you know, I've heard so many good things. I really want to try this. And it's just sat in my cupboard. And yeah, that's kind of been where it stayed. And I keep meaning to pick it up. And then... This morning, I was just sat around thinking, um, I'm in too much pain to kind of do anything too much, but playing with colourful makeup cheers me up, so I thought, I'll drag this out and finally have a go. It's definitely more of a buildable black, but that's absolutely fine fine by me so I know there's probably like a million and one um, videos on this palette but yeah I figured I'd uh, I'd add my take on it I've been getting out of bed these past few days think it's fair to be proud about it I've quit ordering from I'm just going to kind of gently feather around the edges just a little bit just to soften them I'm ready to add the next color okay and then I am next going into wasted Oh, I, seriously, I don't know why I waited so long to try this palette. But I'm just really stamping it on initially. Just literally like 50% on, 50% off. Yeah, this is a really nice purple. So how do you guys feel about this palette? Do any of you have it? What do you think? It seems to be a lot of people's favourites. And I know the uh, Love Tahiti kind of came in and took over a little bit. But it still seems to be... In an awful lot of people's collections. Yeah, I love the Love Tahiti, um, the Carnival 3. I absolutely adore that. And the Antidote, I did not expect to love that anywhere near as much as I do. Um, just with it being so much more on the neutral side. But, yeah, it's just enough to kind of keep it interesting then I think next I'm going to go into funky 
there's just so many things that you can do with this palette and I'm pretty sure nothing that gets done is new anymore. Oh wow, this pink is this pink is stunning. Look at that. Ooh. That's a nice pink. That is so vibrant. So vibrant. I know it looked like we're losing the purple at the moment, but that'll come back. Wow. And again, I've, I'm not really doing any blending yet. I shall do that afterwards. Yeah, that is super vibrant. Super. And then I'm going to go into Lit, the orange. Kind of heading for a sunsetty vibe. I think I'm actually going to start pulling this out. I'll do a bit of a misser look, I think. Yeah, I think so. Um, the others will all join in in a moment <laughs> when I go back through. I do love how Missa does her looks. I'm always wanting to, to try. I don't have anywhere near the amount of talent that that girl has. But I will give it a go. It's just fun, isn't it? Music is my band -aid. All right, before I move on further, I'm just going to go back through and just kind of blend these shades upwards a little bit more. That's the one great thing about makeup, you can kind of change your mind and go off in a direct, different direction at the end of the day, it just washes off. So if you really don't like it, you can just take it all off and start again. It's looking a little crazy right now. <laughs> um, so I'm next going to go into Keen Yellow. I'm going to bring that right in and kind of blend the edges with that. It's a nice yellow. And then I'm just going to use that just to kind of blend out all the edges so that it's not so... We're going kind of right through the brow there. I'm loving how this is looking. It's very sunsetty. I love a sunset look. Yeah, is it definitely inspired by Missa, Make Me Up Missa? I absolutely adore her. She is so, so super talented. It's unreal. And so funny with it as well. And just a genuine person who can laugh at themselves. I love that. 
and her looks are literally amazing. I would give anything to have the talent, or even half the talent that that girl has. Been following Missa for a long time now. It was way before I started my channel. So she definitely would have been one of the earlier influences um, for me to really play with colourful makeup. Because I'd, I'd always wanted to. I think part of my worry is my age. But then, then I found like Debbie and of uh, Final Beauty and Nikki Raven. And I just think they kind of all all played a part in opening up my eyes to the world of colour and it being absolutely fine to be kind of older and loving colourful makeup. And I don't want to fall into that trap of, oh, because you're over 40, you have to wear really boring makeup, you have to like look your age, dress your age. I have absolutely zero intentions of growing old gracefully. I fully intend just to be myself. I'm just going back through them, just backwards. Just making sure they're all blended in nicely. Yeah, this palette is definitely another another favourite. I'm loving playing with this. To be fair I haven't tried the shimmers just yet so I should really reserve my judgement for once I've, once I've done that. But I am really loving these mattes at the very least. I mean, my, my love Tahiti um, I don't expect this to kind of replace it because I adore that. But, I mean, they could make really nice companions as well for each other. Okay, so I'm going to do the shimmers on the lid first. So I've got this Kyma Cosmetics Glitter Primer. I've used this once and I just I found it was really good. It's like completely clear, kind of like a, a yellowy orange tinge. I have no idea. Um, but I'm definitely, I definitely enjoyed using it. It's nice to have like an indie alternative to the NYX Glitter Primer. Because indie is kind of, as you all know, where my heart lies. I actually think I might Im improve. <laughs> I might prefer this to the NYX, NYX Glitter Primer. It's like slightly wetter and slightly easier to to work with. It doesn't dry down as fast. It is always good to have like indie versions of stuff. I think so anyway. What do I want to do? I think I am, I'm going to use Back Chat first, the purple Shimmer. And I'm just going to place that right on this outer part here. Ooh. Okay. Loving this. 
I did fully expect it to be fair. I love the quality of both the Love Tahiti and the Antidote palettes. I would have been more surprised if I didn't like this, to be fair. Ooh, okay. I'll bring that just a little bit further in. The bottom, it's just... Um, Kind of do it at more of a slant. Yeah, I'm I'm loving this shade. Beautiful. All right, let's find another little brush, and then I really want to use uh, peppermint. The green there is stunning. It's been calling my name ever since I opened the palette. So this is this is where we're going. Oh, I did Amanar um about using the uh, purple shimmer orchid. But, I don't know, just something, this kind of teal green just called my name. Yeah. Yeah, this is beautiful. Yeah, two shimmers in few mats I love this I think I can safely safely say I I love this palette and yeah the um Kyma Cosmetics is a UK indie brand and uh that glitter primer is yeah I definitely think I prefer that to to the next one actually I'm going to go in back into back chat and I'm just going to kind of dab that over the join also just to assist with the blend and make sure we haven't lost it because that is a stunning shade. Just back and forth between the two. Okay, and then dipping into Wasted, the purple mat that we used. I'm going to use that to use that to blend these edges in just tapping between that is beautiful yeah i am um, I'm loving how this is looking. So I'm going to quickly clean up, do my base, and then I'll come back and we'll do the lower lash line and go from there. So just stay where you are. Okay, so I have now done my base. Everything that I've put on will be listed in the description box below for, if you want to check any of that out. So guys, let's go on to the lower lash line. Let's go. So I'm first off going to grab Lights Out, the black, just to, I'm just taking it on kind of a flat brush, um, just so I can stamp that right just in this very outer part of the lower lash line here. Yeah, 
I'm just ready for that, just that little bit of depth to tie it in with, tie it in with the upper lid and have this kind of dip here that is always a pain, <laughs> always a pain to work with. I'm just going to use that purple just to just to connect them the upper and lower just taking it over the the black and then just kind of blending it blending it up and into into the upper lid there Okay, so I'm now going to go into Make Waves, the blue, and I'm just going to take that, just kind of on the edge of the purple there, and right up against the lash line. <laughs> okay and now i've been dying to try this so i'm next we're going to ecstasy this shade oh neon green let's hope that this looks as good as i'm hoping Ooh. Oh, look at that. I'm going to follow that all the way up there also. The shade is beautiful. Look at that. Really adding the the vibrancy that we needed on the lower lash line there. I don't know how I left this palette and just sat in my cupboard for so long without trying it because this is just beautiful. Okay, I'm... I'm loving that. So I'm just going to go back through um, the shades on the top here just to kind of blend it all in a bit better. Walking away, your words are lost on me. It's taking everything. Okay, so for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going into Pink Me. For my inner corner, I'm going to spray the brush just so that I get it as intense as possible. Yeah, this is definitely a chunkier formula. Not as, not as sure I love this one as much. It does look really pretty though. When you're not holding me, I can see it now. It looks really pretty. It's definitely not my favourite formula. So I think. For my brow bone highlight, I'm actually going to use one of the highlights. I'm going to go into Fair Play. And I'm just going to tuck that right up. Up under the brow there. It's a very kind of gold looking one. I don't know if that's just because... It's over the yellow there, but 
whatever the reason, it does look. I might actually pop a bit of that right on the very, very inner part. Does that make a difference at all? I'm not sure if it does or not. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I like that better actually. Yeah. Okay. I'm loving how it's looking, so I'm going to nip off, finish my face, and then I'll come back to show you the finished look. So if you would like to see that, then don't go anywhere. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'll just let you know a couple of the things I popped on my face. So the liner, I used the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea liquid eyeshadow and I think it's Life's a Beach the shade um I hadn't used that yet so I thought I thought that might go um in my waterline I've got the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in I Gotcha the mascara I used was the Barry M Feature Length Mascara I've been really enjoying this um, my lashes are from Lois Cosmetics they're in the style powerhouse love these um i've been using these a lot recently um for blush i use the melt what's it called it's upside down digital dust duo blush in buzzkill um this is what she looks like love this too um i did use the um melt blush light cream blush in the shade golden hour the highlighter is the Kaleidal Space Age Highlighter in the shade Solar Sailor. I don't know what you can really see from there, but it's this beautiful yellow highlight. And then on my lips, I have the Cursed Cosmetics I think it's Lip Potion in the shade Amulet. Um, these are beautiful. I have three of them. I have this one. I have the green one, which I think is extraterrestrial. And then I have a like nude one. Um, but yeah, I love this and I just thought, let's just go all out colour. Um, and oh my god, I don't know why I didn't try this sooner. Oh, the only shade I used that I wasn't particularly impressed by is Pink Me. I just found it so chunky and difficult to use. Um, but everything else just performed beautifully. Um, I did expect it to. Um, I've he heard nothing but really great things about it. And I love the Love Tahiti and the Antidote. So it made sense to have this too. Anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. If you love to see colourful makeup looks, if you like to see a lot of looks um using indie brand products because that's mainly what you'll find on my channel um plus everything i use is cruelty free so if that all sounds like something you'd be interested in then please do hit the subscribe button come and join my chameleon family um i hope you are all having a great day a great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves i will see you again very very soon Goodbye.